Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Caporal, bringing you a review on the Nerf Roblox Adopt Me Bees Blaster. Now, I got this at HEB for $8.50. It was on sale. It was the last one, along with an Echo and a, um, I think it's called the Big Rig. Some of those, um, one of those inflatable bunker things. I, I like it. It's sitting right here next to me. It's too big to fit on camera, and I'm not going to show my house. But yeah, it's pretty neat. But yeah, this. So this is a lever action revolver blaster from the Roblox line, of, of course, by the name, based off a beehive. Now, I'm going to do this joke right now because I'll be tempted to do it throughout the video. So, no, not the bees, not the bees. Ah, they're stinging my eyes. Okay, now with that, now with that's my Nicolas Cage impersonation. Hire me. So, Mr. Cage, they come, so this blaster comes with these darts, the elite, standard elite darts, that I thought were the same as the Aki Strike darts, which I am very fond of. I like this color of dart. And that's actually why I bought this blaster. I thought I was gonna get more of these. But no, they're darker. Doesn't mean I don't get them confused with each other. It took me a little while to find these things. Comes with eight of them. I got this here because honestly, while I was just doing some testing, I think that looks pretty snazzy, like venom. The poison of a hornet. But yeah. So, also, if you watch this video, help me name this guy. I got this plushy owl. I gotta make a short about him, but yeah, if you could think of a name, tell me what you think of it. So far, we're kind of kind of leaning on either Yuki, um, Azrael, Alec Ballastain. Some so yeah. So continue with the review. Why am I wearing a glove? You may ask. Well, it's kind of part of my costume sometimes. Oh, I need to get better gloves. These are. Obviously, dishwashing gloves, um, and they're in the large size, so at the tip of my finger, just to get in there. And it's only really the only way I could put them on properly. And I could use these gloves with several blasters, but not with this one. Because everything on this thing is tight. My fingers could barely fit through this, my fingers can't fit in here. But and, er and ergonomically, I want to put my hand in here, but it messes with the. Um, function of the blaster. I want to put my fingers there. And it will function with the me with the blaster. So I ha find myself actually using it like this. You can see my hand underneath it. And all that. But it's not that good. I put my hand right here and it still gets in the way. And all that. So this is a very ergonom uh, ergonomically bad blaster. And going through my thing. So Obviously, this thing's a carbine. It's a lever action carbine. Oh, that. And it is a springer. FPS, I don't know. I can't measure it with my attachment, but I've seen videos and the FPS seems to be either okay or good, like almost up to the 80s. So I'm going to say it's good, okay, because you could get this weird FPS with this thing. Price I got it for eight fifty. Again, Roblox blasters on sale or thrifting are pretty. They're pretty nice. They're too expensive because of the um because of this. This should have been a cheaper blaster in the store, and this just adds ten dollars. But at eight fifty, this I right now I feel like again it's another thing. Do I put eight the price at the bottom and all that? But I thought it was a fair price for it. Accessories, it doesn't come with any accessories, it's just the blaster and the darts. Sling attachment point does not have a sling attachment point. Comfort, this thing, take off the glove. So, comfort wise, the grip feels weird because of these, these honey pieces and all that, but it's not the worst thing. It's just, this is right here. It's in the way. And it's skeletonized, so you get these grooves on it. This is too small. And all that. 
There we go. So it hurts to my knuckles. But it's lengthwise, it's not bad. If this was a little bit bigger, it would I think it would be better. But it's just the honeycomb at the front. Let's see if I can get it. Where? It rotates. Again, I keep wanting to put my hand under there. And trying to make it rotate with my hand there, it bothers me. Sometimes I put my hand... It, it's just that that bit of it is pretty bad. Even loading it. You only got this little groove right here to load it. And all that. Which is somewhat accurate to an actual... Revol some revolvers and how you have like little grooves to reload them. That was off frame. So it's accurate to like real life, but it's just um, a bit cumbersome in a Nerf blaster. So comfort, I'm going to say it's not good at all. It's very, maybe because I'm an adult, Maybe for a kid, it will feel better and all that. Now looks, I actually, I actually really like how this thing looks. I love the colors. These are my favorite. I don't, I'm not a yellow guy. I don't like the color yellow, despite being in relationship to the king in yellow. But I do like this gold in yellow color. I do like that. I like this dark, like this pumpkin orange. I like amber. Okay, with the black. I love this combination. It's very... It doesn't remind me of honey. It reminds me of fall. And so when it comes to looks, that's a bit um, on the subjective side. But this blaster, no matter... I also do... I do like the grip right here. It's just you don't ever really use it because you... But this blaster always stood out to me. Like, I kind of want this thing. I saw it on the shelf. It always stood out. It kind of breaks the mold. So because of that, because it attracts my eyes, I'm going to say it looks good. Profile-wise, you could put, paint this all black. No one's going to think it's a, a, a real-life firearm. It's based off a real-life firearm's function, but no one's going to think this is not a toy. It was painted all black. No tactical points. No rocket attachment. No place to attach rockets. No place to... Put the mega dart attachment, but maybe you could mod it to fire mega darts. It looks like the front barrel is big enough to hold a mega dart. I don't have any near me at the moment, but it might actually. It looks like it's pretty close and all that. So. Internals, I have no idea what this thing looks like internally. Because I don't think anybody should try to mod this thing. And... Yeah, so... And I wouldn't know how, like, this thing even works. You kind of see a little bit in the internals. With the light. And all that. So I don't know if this is leaf spring. I don't know all that. So I'm just going to say okay. Modability. Again, I do not know. If I was going to mod this, I'd want a stronger lever. I feel like this thing's going to break at any moment. Honestly, I would like a metal lever. That's also bigger. And maybe I'll change out the cylinder. Though I do like this honeycomb pattern, but this cylinder also feels very weak. Like, one day it's going to crack. Because it's like a circular cylinder, but with a honeycomb-like casing around it. Which is not perfect, so there's gaps in between it. Oddly enough, I'm afraid of small holes, and this does not bother me. This is weird. Modability, I don't know, but it's like, what can you do to mod this thing? Other than just fix the blaster's ergonomics. Wapcom wants to paint this thing, the honey parts white. And all that. As, like, so this could be a very meme blaster. So I'm going to say, okay. Practicality wise, in a Nerf War, it is an eight shot Springer, which is pretty good. 
in my opinion, like looking at different Springer blasters, there's only what is it? One other eight shot. The Lawbringer would be better than this, but in demonstration, I believe it's already cocked. Oh, okay. Brace yourselves. Didn't think it would be that loud. But once you get the hang of using this thing, it's pretty good. I am not going to lie. No matter how uncomfortable it is, just being able to go full cowboy with this blaster... I'm like, dang, um, I don't think this thing's practical at all, but it, like, its functionality makes it practical. There's a reason why these blasts, why this type of firearm won the West, okay? And I haven't, haven't been able to actually fire a real-life lever action. I fired a bunch of, like, every other firearm there is. Oh, not a Steyr Aug, because my stepdad's a freaking boomer and hates bullpups. He he hates firearm superiority. But yeah, it, it's like again, it's like um in a Nerf war where you cannot use mags and only Springer blasters. I don't see this being a bad choice, but any other Nerf war. I don't see the point of this, but I do think there could be a game type with this. In that you hit you tag somebody with it, you well, you hit somebody with this and all that. They have to go for Nicolas Cage and go, no, not the bees, not the bees, and all that. And that they have to recite the whole line and that's their timeout. And all, you just or you go dress up in a bee costume and all that. I could see like Somebody making like hunt Nicolas Cage as a game type with this thing, and then this thing would have to be like the primary blaster. So, I'm gonna say it's okay practicality wise. Like, I, like certain game types, this is yeah, this is good. But in regular gameplay, nah, don't don't bother. And the results is that this thing isn't that good of a blaster and all that so but it, it's really fun the sling fire i don't i've never found a sling fire that's never been jammed so i could be the because this is a revolver that it fixes the sling fire's problems but the sling fire theoretically could fire like a 50 dart drum so uh, i'm like I was like, I was hating this blaster. And then I just do that whole cowboy thing. Whoops. It's also pretty loud. I, didn't, and all that. I was doing that whole cowboy thing with it. And it's like, dang it. I am liking this blaster. It's just so hard to remove the darts. There's another thing. Everything about this blaster does not work. Well, not everything, but you, you know, most of the things about this blaster, whether it be its ergonomics, whether it's its price, it, the material it's made out of, it does not work. The only thing that works properly out of this thing is the actual function of the lever action. I'm like, and I'm a guy who wears a cowboy hat when he goes out. Or my French Foreign Legion hat. And I'm like, this is... Why do I like this thing? I, like, with my own review... This is the weirdest blaster, because I cannot recommend it under my own review. But at the same time, I'm having fun with this darn thing. This thing's really fun. I enjoy it. It's like I'm willing to go to struggle through its problems just to use this blaster. Me paint, and I can't even paint it into looking anything good either. It's, it's it's weird. So, judging by my review, no, it's not a good blaster. Judging by my 
my personal feelings and just how much I enjoy firing this thing. Yeah, I love this blaster. So, but again, it's like, this worries me. This worries me too much. Just how flimsy it is. So, so ultimately I'll say, if you could get this under $10, absolutely. You'll have a fun time under $10. Anything above that, no. Don't get it. If you can get this for $5, like multiples, yeah. And somebody invent the game, and if somebody can invent the game type for this thing, absolutely. I hope somebody invents a game type for this thing. I, and I'm going to be honest with you people. If I went to Ollie's and this thing was 10 bucks in the Ollie's, I would probably buy another one. I am just so conflicted. And it's just, maybe it's just the cowboy in me and all that. So, yeah. Also, hot take when it comes to cowboys. The cowboys were right at Tombstone, okay? They were right. Wyatt Earp was the bad guy. Okay, you all have a nice day. Bye-bye.